And we start with that breaking news from the U.S. Capitol. Ohio's 3rd District Congresswoman Joyce Beatty has been arrested. She was placed in plastic handcuffs not too long ago during a demonstration in Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. 10 TV's Angela Reigert is here. Angela, you've been looking into this and to our understanding, this was a planned event. Oh, yeah. We knew this was happening to an extent, right? We knew that there was this national voting rights march. I want you to listen to a little bit of that march. Keep your eyes on. Okay, so it started like this, a bunch of people getting together to protest voting restrictions passed in states across the country. Well, they ended up going to the Hart Senate office buildings to pressure Republicans, and then that's when this happened. You can see it there, yes, video of Capitol Police arresting the Congresswoman. You can see her there with those zip ties around her hands. Representative Beatty was actually one of nine people uh, taken into custody. She then posted this picture on her Twitter account saying, let the people vote fight for justice. So it looks like this was something maybe she knew was planned, right? We didn't know it, but we knew the event was happening. She did just post on Twitter like not too long ago, hashtag good, good trouble. trouble, obviously making a nod, Andrew, there to uh, uh, Representative, um, oh gosh, uh, why is it? Uh, John Lewis. John yes, Lewis, who, yeah. who's a good friend of hers. Good friend of hers. And as you know, John Lewis, and uh, to follow in the steps of Dr. King, they all did this type of uh, demonstrations protest to bring attention to uh, issues uh, fa facing their community. And this is yeah. one um, not only facing uh, the U.S. in Washington, but also here in Ohio and Texas. Mm -hmm. and, and the representative here uh, voicing her frustrations with that. The voting rights, yep. yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Angela. Thank you. Well, you can learn more about the arrest and find more breaking news by downloading the 10TV News app. It's free in our app store.